Are stem cells the solution to the coronavirus? I'm Dr. Ross Carter with a special edition of the Regenerative Warrior Show. Your daily dose of longevity and wellness news in one minute a day. The coronavirus has taken the world by storm, infecting more than 100,000 people with a death rate of over 2%. In addition, it has devastated businesses and financial markets worldwide, costing billions of dollars. Even worse, it doesn't seem to be slowing now or have an end in sight. Scientists around the world have been working night and day to discover a cure, but as of yet, no vaccine has proven effective against it. But before we talk about the potential solution that could save your life, it is important that you understand what actually occurs with the coronavirus. Now, most people have heard that when someone is infected, they will experience flu-like symptoms and that those symptoms somehow get so bad that they eventually die. But what is actually happening in the body and how does it kill you? Many of the people that die, die from a condition called ARDS, which stands for Acute Respiratory Distress Syndrome. ARDS is caused by inflammation in the lungs, which leads to a buildup of fluid. Now this fluid prevents the oxygen carbon dioxide exchange that is supposed to happen, making it harder and harder to breathe until the patient requires a ventilator. Sometimes the fluid buildup is too great and the person actually suffocates and dies from a lack of oxygen. Now many scientists are concentrating on preventing the condition, but there has been little discussion on recovery after becoming infected. Now, to prevent this condition, we've been told everything we can do to keep our immune system strong, which is, of course, wash our hands and, and stay away from others. But is there something we can do that if we become infected or think we become infected? Now, the disease causes a considerable amount of organ damage, which mainly is in the lungs due to this inflammation. This is when stem cells could be a possible solution. How? Well, stem cells and stem cell growth factors have two primary benefits according to Dr. Arnold Kaplan, stem cell expert and PhD. Stem cells can modulate the immune system and stimulate the regenerative process, which means that stem cells can decrease the hyperactivity and the damaging effects of the immune system, thereby decreasing the inflammation and the fluid retention. Additionally, they can stimulate the repair and regeneration of the damaged cells and tissue, accelerating recovery. Now recently, Chinese doctors experimented with expanded stem cells on a 65-year-old woman who was very ill with the virus. Now after a week of treatment, she was able to regain her health completely. Now currently, there are at least 14 trials using stem cell treatments for coronavirus patients in China, according to the World Health Organization's clinical trial database. Now this could be a game changer in the coronavirus treatment. However, the use of expanded stem cells is currently banned in the United States by the FDA. Now, the FDA classifies your own stem cells as a drug and therefore requires years of testing. However, if the public outcry is strong enough, then the FDA could lift that ban, which could become a major advancement in the treatment and recovery of victims of the coronavirus. Now, there are thousands of studies that have shown that stem cells can be safe and beneficial in a vast amount of health problems, including neurological, cardiovascular and musculoskeletal. This stem cell ban has forced many desperate Americans to travel to foreign countries to have these procedures. This practice can be dangerous and expensive with sometimes negative results. Making it legal would allow hundreds of US-based medical facilities to perform these procedures locally and lower the procedure costs. However, until this happens, there are some clinics in Mexico that are now offering expanded stem cell treatments. But a word of caution, these procedures can be expensive and it is difficult to know who to trust. Now back in the United States, there may be other alternatives to consider. One controversial therapy is the use of stem cell signaling factor molecules. Now these signaling molecules from stem cells show similar effects to expanded stem cell therapy and are still available in some states. Now if you need help finding someone to, for either expanded stem cells in Mexico or stem cell signaling factor treatments locally, we may be able to help. Simply text your name to 561-962-1231. Write that down. That's 561-962-1231. Thank you for watching and please hit the subscribe button as well as share this show to help it go viral. But of course, without the deadly side effects. Now, the Regenerative Warrior Show is a daily program created for people that really want to stay healthy and strong 
and simply don't have the time to keep up with the latest research on longevity, anti-aging, and wellness. And that's why we created a daily show that teaches everything you need to know in only one minute a day, except for this episode. Subscribe now to keep up with the latest advancements in the coronavirus, as well as other longevity and wellness news received daily. To read any of the research presented on this show, please go to regenerativewarrior.com. I'm Dr. Ross Carter, signing off. That's one minute. Let's do it again tomorrow. To learn more about this story, go to regenerativewarrior.com.